none like it in all of baseball. A look at AT&T Park in San Francisco. Today, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Mets and the San Francisco Giants. These two should provide some big-time fireworks. First pitch is coming up. Jake Peavy will be the man on the mound for the G-Men. Eric, any thoughts? Well, guys, remember last year he had an ERA under four. Very solid, very dependable. David Wright makes his way to the plate, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. For the Mets, third baseman, number five. Slapped hard the opposite way. Bob, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough first second. out. Second baseman, Neil Walker. Neil Walker will stand in, coming off a two-home run game a night ago. TV into the windup. Here comes the first pitch. And he lays off there, 1-0. Eric Karros, this giant ball club, as they begin play here this afternoon, they come in off to a bit of a slow start with just one win in their first three tries. But I think it's just going to be a matter of putting yesterday behind you. It wasn't their hey. finest performance of the year, that's for sure, but they're capable of playing much better ball, and I think we'll see a sharper focus here in this one. And set up behind the plate is Joe McDonald, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew in this one. Well, McDonald, just like most other umpires, he'll miss a couple here and there, but his strike zone never seems to be too outrageous. Walker lays off there. It's two balls and a strike. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time, and there are two away. And you'll get a good look at the grip on his two-seam fastball. You grip it along the narrower seams on the baseball, and that gives it that running action you don't see on the four-seamers. Here's you on Cespedes. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. and oh. Smoke toward third. Duffy is up with it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. They go down 1-2-3 in the first against Jake Peavy. And now we'll see what the Giants can do. No score. Bartolo Colon, a right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. E.K., what's the word on him? Well, Matty, last year, he had an ERA over four. For a starting pitcher, that's a bit high. Looking to have a better year this season. And there you see Denard Spann as he gets ready to lead off the home Leading half of inning Giants. number one. Center fielder, Denard Spann. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. The wind up and the 0 1. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0 and 2 now. These Mets EK as they take the field here today. They come into this one in good spirits, fresh off their first victory of the new campaign last time out. And they got both the series and the road trip off to a good start with the win yesterday, so they'll be aiming to keep it going here. Second baseman, Joe Panic. Into the box now, Joe Panic. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Into the windup and the pitch. Hit down the line at first. Well, this is foul for the first strike. Oh. 
Hit hard back up the middle. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. Yeah, really not a bad pitch when you look at it. This is at the knees with some movement. He just uses the center of the diamond and checks in here with a base hit. Buster Posey takes his first shot here with the runner at first now and one away. Hit hard up the middle. And that's through for a hit. A little bad luck there defensively. If that's hit at an infielder, it's a double play. But instead, now you're in hot water here with one away. Here's the first baseman, Brandon Belt. As he'll take a look at ball one. And you can bet they'll pitch him carefully with a couple guys on base. Runners are at first and second with one away. Now a ball lifted high in the air towards shallow right center field. Granderson shading to his right. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. So it's first and second with two men gone. And that'll bring in the right fielder, Hunter Pence. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0 1. Nothing in one count, here it comes. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Giants leave a couple. After one, no score. Michael Conforto makes his way to the plate. He'll get us started here in the top of the second. Michael Conforto. Oh, and good late movement there from Peavy on the fastball. It's 0-1. And, and you know, if you're going to challenge a guy up in the zone with a fastball, why not do it on the first pitch? A lot of times he's going to be taken anyway, and you just bought yourself a strike that you can now throw anything off of. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Peavy's ready. Here's the 0-2. A little bit off the outside. It's 1-2. And that's a good spot for that fastball on 0-2. I mean, that couldn't have been an easy take. And he looks three. at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there, and that's out number one. Uh, and this is where the scouting report really pays off. I mean, sometimes you just got to go looking for a soft spot in the guy's zone, and, and they found one there. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Here comes the 0-1. High in the air out to center field. On the move is Span. And he makes the catch for the second out. Batting six. Curtis Granderson will stand in. He comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Well, when you have a rough day at the plate, it's all about letting it go. You can't dwell on it for too long. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball 1. 1-0. One oh. Just missing here, 2-0. And 2-0, oh. and and oh, this is where he's the most dangerous up there. I know it's a fastball count, but I would maybe think about something else. 
two and one. And that had all the looks of a guy who was going to take a giant hack two and oh, no matter where that pitch was. EK, I know you never did that. No, 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 not me. Uh, maybe once or twice. Right on the corner, two and two. But this is the thing that's so impressive about this guy. He'll show you that good breaking ball, but then he'll run that fastball up the ladder at 92, 93. No score here as we play inning number two. Chop foul at the plate, and the count holds it two and two. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Hit toward the right side. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. And after setting down the first five to start the afternoon, he finally gives up his first hit here with two outs in the second. And that's important because you don't want to let a guy coast through these early innings. You want to mount at least a little bit of pressure out there. As Dribble Cabrera set to take his first cuts with a man at first and two away. Yeah, and he's going to have to fight. And that is off the first base bag. And he will reach it first, but it's very possible that he might have had two bases there had that ball not hit the bag. These guys can strike quickly. Just when it looked like they weren't going to do much here in the inning, they come through with hits on back-to-back -back pitches, and they're in business at first and third with two outs. Mark Krause will get his first shot here. Couple of hits in four trips last night. Into the seats, 0-1. The 0-1 on its way. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Runners at the corners, two men out. Foul right at the plate. The count moves now to one and two. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Posey is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Two left for the Mets. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Matt Duffy strides into the box now to lead off the home half of the second inning. Matt Duffy. Here's the first pitch to him. Down the third baseline. Backhanded. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other. One away. Batting seven. The shortstop. Brandon. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And stepping in, the slick fielding shortstop, Brandon Crawford. Drilled right back up the middle and into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. And there you go. Well, maybe not the finest hit he'll ever have, but at least he's got a batting average. That's what counts in the long run. Into the box, Angel Pagan, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. He slaps that one away, and the count will be nothing in one. Hit hard on the ground a second, and this is knocked down over there. And they'll wind up with no play here as he reaches first safely. Ah, but he'll recover in time to get the lead runner at second. So a heads-up play there to get that second out. Jake. Peavy. Striding into the box, Jake Peavy, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Pagan run. Pitch inside the throw. Not in time as he steals second. Well, they're trying to make something out of this inning after all. He's off and running here with two away, and he gets into second safely. So now all it'll take is a base hit to get us our first run of the game. Bottom of the second here with no score. And he misses again, 2-0. Oh. Well, you know, sometimes it's that natural tendency to let up just a little bit when you're facing the opposing pitcher. You know he's not going to do much damage. 
But you've got to get refocused here because you do not want to go 3-0 to him. A strike, and it's 2-1. and one. And even though that's a strike, that's a good take. You want to be looking one pitch, one spot. So don't go swinging at that one. That was nasty. Now a swing, and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory, and that ends the inning. One left for San Francisco. We'll move to the third with no score. Back now in San Francisco with our presentation of Major League Baseball on the show. Thanks for joining us. Bartolo Colon set to lead off the third. Nine, one, and two do up. Well, you know it's always a tough Colon. inning when your pitcher leads off for you because most of the time the guys just flat out can't hit. But who knows? Maybe he can get something started here and help himself out. And he falls behind 0-2. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. Well, just a two-seam fastball. You'll see the movement here. It works back toward the inside corner, and he picks up strikeout number three so far. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce one foul for the first strike. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. And a good 0-2 pitch there, but right able to lay off to make it a ball and two strikes. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Peavy has his target. Here's the 1-2 line to the right side and that's a base hit one for two in his first couple of plate appearances well, this is something their hitting coach preaches every day at the batting cage stay inside the ball here he lets the ball get deeper into the zone then stays back and drives it to the right center gap here's Neil Walker as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike Swing and a miss as no Walker's ball. in a hole here. No balls and two strikes. Wow, what a good time to take something off of that pitch. And they had him fooled pretty good on that one. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Very weakly on the ground. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. And he struck him out. So he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. And he's having a rough go of it so far. His second strikeout of the ball game. You can see him gesturing that he thinks that pitch was outside. But you know, I think once he gets a look at it in the clubhouse, he'll probably change his tune. Settling in now, Joanna Cespedes. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. In the dirt here. But fortunately here, no advance. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. Not close. It's 2-0. Well, that's a good thing that pitch was above the strike zone because a few inches lower, and that ball's right in his wheelhouse. Strike called, 2-1. Yeah, you don't see 2-0 changeups too often, but if you know a good hitter is going to be sitting fastball, don't give him what he wants. He's fallen behind now, 3-1. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Up next for the Mets, left fielder, Michael, Michael Conforto stands in with two on and two out here in the third. And you know, some guys just get better with runners in scoring position and two outs. This is a big at bat for him right here, even though it's still early. And PD starts him with a changeup, 0-1. And that's what he needed here with two outs. He couldn't afford to fall behind another guy here in the inning. So that's a good job to jump in that driver's seat with strike one. That's lifted the other way out to left. Pagan is under it. And that's the third out. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. 
We play two and a half. No score on the show. Denard Spann digs into the box in the bottom of inning number three. And guys, this is the guy you want leading off this Denard. inning. He's your leadoff man, so maybe he can get things started. Set the table for a little bit of a rally. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. And here's a situation where, heck, just make contact. Put the ball in play. You never know. Winds up beating this ball out. Ready now, Joe Pennant. He reached on a single in his first try. Throw back to first by oh, Colon, and he's back standing. Perhaps wisely, another oh, look in. to first. A dive, but he's back. Here comes the first pitch. Runner goes for second. Pitch outside the throw. And Span is going to be caught stealing here. He's out at second base. If you're not an absolute speed merchant on the bases, if the pitcher slide steps, he's got a much better chance of throwing you out. The defense sniffed it out right there. The slide step worked. Great throw to second base, and he's gone. And there to bring it in is Cabrera for route number two. Buster Posey will dig in. The winner of last year's Silver Slugger Award for National League Catchers. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hot shot toward third. But this won't get past the gold lover right as he spears it at third to end the inning. Giants are down on four pitches. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Travis Darno is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. Heavey gets the sign. First pitch on the way. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Not much to shout about for either team here as we start the fourth inning. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, I think we kind of knew that pitching might take the upper hand here. Maybe not to this extent, but both guys have really thrown the ball well. Swung on, missed, two and one. Hit on the ground to short. Crawford fields it cleanly. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. The right fielder, number three, Curtis Granderson. Digging in, Curtis Granderson. He singled his last time up. First pitch of the at-bat. First pitch is a curveball that's inside, 1-0. and And a strike to even the count, 1-1. One and one. Hit out towards second, fielded by Panic. On to first, and PB sets down the first two easily here. The shortstop number 13, as Drupal Cabrera. As Drupal Cabrera is the batter, got a base hit in his first trip. First pitch on its way. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Down and away, ball one. Circle change here, but it's taken for ball two. Now a little pop-up off toward the third base side. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a little tapper. But it gets foul. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Boy, and a nice inning on the mound for Jake Peavy. Still nothing, nothing. Back alongside Eric Karros and Steve Lyons, Matt Vaskersian, as it'll be Brandon Belt getting ready to lead things off here for San Francisco.
First pitch coming. Here it is. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Chop foul right at home plate. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. And even on 0-2, you don't want guys to get into a comfort level up there. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. Ready on one and two. To short. And a flip to first from Cabrera in time for the first out. The right fielder, number eight, Hunter Pence. With one away, here's the right fielder, Hunter Pence. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. Oh, man, what a perfect pitch right there in a perfect spot. And that's exactly how you have to attack a guy like this. He wasn't even close on that pitch. And the catch out there made by Wright for out number two. Third baseman, number five. Matt Duffy. Matt Duffy stands in. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out. Out in front of it, strike one. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Grounded down the third baseline. But a foul ball, and the count holds at 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And Walker will put this one away, and the inning is over. Giants are down 1 2 3. Through four. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. Mark Kraus heads for the box to getting start off the, the fifth in this one. Well, they still don't have any runs Martin. on the board yet, Kraus. so getting this leadoff man on base would be huge. Here's PV hey. back to work now as Jake gets oh, ahead here yeah. with a good pitch. It's 0-1. All right, four scoreless innings in the books. What's it going to take to push across our first run? Well, I think both pitchers have really dominated so far. This is where getting the leadoff guy on is so key. You know... Get the pitcher into the stretch. Get him out of his comfort zone. Then maybe your offense can go from there. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball. And that's the first out. And I'll tell you what. He's throwing with a lot of confidence right now. And he's also taking some chances with location. But, you know, he's thinking he's bulletproof out there. And so far he has been. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Bartolo Colon. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yep, they sent him packing last time, so maybe they have a pretty good idea of how to attack him again right here. Just gets a piece of it, strike one. No runs, three hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And this catches the inside corner. Good spot there. It's 0-2. And, and this is part of why he's had a lot of success so far. He's done a lot of work on the edges and stayed out of the middle of the strike. Uh, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. And down in the count, 0-2. Oh you have to figure something like this is coming. He came with two straight fastballs to start the at-bat, and then they finish him off here with that big old thing. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. And if he can get himself into a fastball count, fastball don't be surprised two. if he has a big cut at something. Maybe try and break this tie ball game. That Eight. one's more like it, he says. Back to two and one now. Eight. 
swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to put this one away. Good reactions there and the inning is over. Mets go down one, two, three. Halfway home, still no score. Brandon Crawford will stand in now, the recipient of a National League Silver Slugger Award for his contributions at shortstop last year. Right side, hit hard. And that gets on by, and Crawford's aboard to lead off with a single. Maybe these guys are going to start getting a little more aggressive here early in the count. This is the first pitch of the inning, and he's on base here to kick things off. Stepping in, Angel Pagan. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Cologne pauses. First pitch on its way. Tries to get the bunt down here, but this is foul, and we'll see if he tries it again. Fun attempt, and it looks like a good one. And the throw will come to first, so the sacrifice works as planned. Yep, we got a scoreless game so far, so they'll put the bunt on right here. Get that runner in the scoring position now with just one away. That'll give him a good shot to maybe break the seal on this ball game. Jake Peavy stands in as the batter now, and with the runner already in scoring position and one away, he likely won't be bunting here. Yeah, there's not too much reason to give up an out just to move him over to third. No outs would be a whole different story, obviously. Everett Cabrera is going to come on and pinch hit now, so that'll officially end Jake Peavy's afternoon at the ballpark. And he gets him to lift one high in the air and drifting out to shallow center. There to play it is Walker, and there are two gone now. Denard Spann steps in, working on a one-for-two game so far. First pitch fastball in on the fists for ball one. Down the first baseline, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Giants leave one. Sixth inning coming up, still zip, zip. Your attention, please. Now New pitcher set to Giants. take over now. It's the right-hander, Sergio Romo, that gets the call. Sergio Romo! Neil Walker will dig in now as he'll lead things off for the Mets in their half of the six. Well, they still aren't even on the board yet, so this leadoff guy needs to get on so they can manufacture a run. But this is yanked down out there at shortstop for the first out. Yoannis Cespedes will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. He's set. Here it comes. Chop foul right at home plate at strike one. The 0-1. 
Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind. Nothing in two. Down 0-2 after two great sliders. He's got his work cut out for him now. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Now a swing and a miss on a pitch well out of the strike zone as he becomes the second out. I'm not quite sure what that was all about. I don't think he knows either. That was that was almost in the on-deck circle. Standing in now, Michael Conforto. Yes, he'll pick on the first pitch and hit a ground ball towards second. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So they go quietly here in this half inning. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth, and we still have no score. Joe Pennant will stand in. He singled and popped out in his first two at-bats. Second baseman, Joe Pennant. Cologne sets his sights. Here's the first pitch. Chopped weakly to the left. Cabrera comes up with it. Throw just in time as they get him by an eyelash. Now batting, the catcher, number 28, Buster. Buster Posey oh, digs in now after lining out in his last try. Yeah, he put a good swing on it last time, so we'll see if he can make one fall here. Line drive to left. Into the slide, and he comes up with a great catch for the second out. The first baseman, number nine, Yeah, he's coming on quickly here. Let's see in show motion if he makes the play. Yep, sure enough, he got to it before it touched the ground. Nicely done. Here's the first baseman, Brandon Belt. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. Chop foul wide at first. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Oh, and even though that's not intentional, as a hitter, you still hate to see that ball up around your eyes. It swung on and hit in the air. Granderson is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Giants down in order. We are still scoreless. Back here in San Francisco, neither team denting the run column quite yet as we look at the game summary through the first six innings of play. Travis Darno is set to get us started for the late innings of this one. Still no runs on the board for either team, and it might come down to who can manufacture a run first. And that's in there for strike one. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. Mm. He did not like that one bit. You know, it's one thing to work in with the hard stuff, but don't do it around the dome. One away. Now batter. Right fielder. Curtis Granderson Curtis will dig Granderson. in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. Yeah, putting the ball in play. Sometimes that's half the battle. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. And you know, I'm one of many that enjoys watching Granderson play the game. A lot of people don't know that he wears his socks high to honor all the greats who played in the Negro Leagues years ago. So he tips his cap to the history of the game whenever he's on the field. Well, the way he plays, he honors the present of the game as well. The shortstop, number 13. As Dribble Cabrera will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. And you know, I think he's had a good approach in each of his first two at-bats. He seems to be seeing the ball well and putting some decent swings on it. A little bouncer. That's a foul ball. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Well, that's a pitch right there that you've got to lay off. 
you know he's going to throw it on an 0-2, and that's a good job of pitch recognition right there. Fought off at the plate, and we'll do it again. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Grounded to short. There is Crawford on the first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. Hunter Pence will start things out when we come back, and we still have no score. And there is Hunter Pence. He'll look to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. Hunter Pence. Cologne gets the sign. Here it comes. This is hit on the ground, but foul. And it looks now like a right-hander's begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. The 0-1 pitch. Dribbled up the line. Wright's got to get rid of it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Maybe a turning point here in a tie Third ball game. They five. catch a break. They get the infield Matt single on this Duffy. ball. Now what will they do from there? They've got tons of options. Matt Duffy will step in now. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fastball runs a bit inside here. It's 1-0. and oh. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. And there goes Pence. Grounder down the line at third. Barehanded on the hop. It's in time. No way. That was awesome. And you know, sometimes these guys make it look so easy, we forget how difficult it is to make a play like that. Not only did he barehand this ball, but he also made a sweet throw on the run over to first base. So often you'll see a guy airmail or short hop a throw like that because of the bad grip you have on the ball. But not in this case. That's a nice play. Brandon Crawford will come forward now in what could be an at-bat that goes a long way toward deciding this ball game. And they better be careful, too, because they haven't gotten him out yet. So this is no small task. Hoping to keep it tied. Here it comes. And a high strike there, 0-1. He's done a really good job of kind of getting ahead of hitters here by throwing first pitch strikes to 70% of the batters he's faced. And that's why he's doing so well. Turned on down the line. But this will get foul for strike two. Here's the 0-2. A oh, big uppercut there as he popped this straight up. Right is there for it. And that's the second out of the inning. Yeah, a good pitch there as he gets the pop out on the fastball as we take a look at his pitch Angel breakdown so far. Pagan. Angel Pagan digs in looking to send something into the outfield that gives that go-ahead run a chance to score from second. Well, no complaints on this end, guys. You've got to love any game that's this tight this late. Grounded up the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Add another zero as it's up to seven shutout innings so far. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now, and we still have no score. Alejandro De Aza is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eight. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Now a sharply hit ball back up the middle. And that's going to be a base hit. So a great job off the bench. And he's aboard here to lead off the inning. The pitcher number four. The pitcher, Bartolo Colon, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation. So let's see if that is indeed on right here. Trying to move the runner into scoring position here, but this is a foul ball. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. And they indeed have the pitcher bunting here as he gets this one down. To Crawford for one. On to first, and they get the double play. Well, it was a promising start to the inning. You get the leadoff man on in the tie ball game, but all that optimism comes crashing down here on the double play.
Here's the third baseman David Wright as he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. If there's one guy on this roster that wants the ball in a moment like this, this is the guy. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Uh, the throw's a low one, and he can't make the scoop at first as it's in and out of the glove. Boy, and with two away, the pitcher's probably three-quarters of the way back into the dugout, but then, uh-oh, not so fast. He's going to have to come back and do some more work now. Neil Walker digs in now after lining out in his last try. Yeah, he was right on the off-speed stuff and hit it well, but just didn't have any luck. It's going to be interesting to see if they stay with more fastballs right here. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. First pitch here is hit off to the right side and fouled. It's strike one. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Chop foul at the plate, and he stays alive, still 0-2. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw on to first, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. Met strand one, and this is still a nothing nothing ball game. Johnny Monell is going to come on as a defensive replacement now as he takes over at first base. Number 19, Johnny. Michael Morse is up off the bench as he will pinch hit here in the bottom of the eighth in a tie ball game. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Hit down the third baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Cologne's ready. 0-1 pitch on its way. Smoked on the ground left side. Throw by right is in time for out number one. That's center fielder number two, Denard Span. Denard Span will step in, a ground out victim as last time. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Weak roller right side. Manel is there, and he'll take this to the bag himself, and there are two away now. The second baseman, number 12, Joe. Joe Pennick strides in, grounded out his last time through. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Javier Lopez will enter now to start the ninth inning as his job will be keeping the game tied until the bottom half. Cespedes stands into the box. He's 0 for 2 so far in this one. And it looks now like a right-hander's getting hot in the Giants' bullpen. Oh, and look at this. High in the air and deep. And when this ball comes down, they'll have taken the lead home run. A solo home run here off the bat of Ioannis Cespedes. And the Mets are on the board first, 1 to nothing. Well, you figure it's only a matter of time till this guy gets going. That's his first home run here on the season, and you can bet it ain't going to be his last. Michael Conforto is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. 
That last home run estimated to travel 431 feet. That is a long one. Drilled to the left side. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. Travis Darno stands into the box. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Lays off 1 and 0. That evens it up 1 and 1. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. And here's one that barely misses off the inside corner, two and two. Oh, that's not a bad idea right there. Go ahead and try that back foot slider on a one and two. Hope you can get him to commit. That's a good job of laying off of that pitch. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Wow, a flip to second for one. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Right fielder, Curtis Granderson. Curtis Granderson, ready to take another shot, went down on strikes his last time up. Well, at the very least, he went down hacking. Striking out is one of the many frustrations that go along with hitting, and you have to accept that it's going to happen sometimes. Rolled slowly to first. Belt charging this one, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. And some dramatics here in the top of the ninth as this home run gives him the lead. Last chance coming up for the G-Men. It's 1-0 Mets. Buster Posey will be tasked now with leading things off in their half leading of the ninth. Because they'll try to do something to prevent being shut out. Yeah, and whatever they've done for the first eight innings hasn't yielded a whole lot so far. So, quite frankly, I'm not expecting too much. Cespit is going back. Still going back. But he can't get it as it's off the wall. And he'll get in at second base as the tying runs aboard with a leadoff double. The first baseman, number nine. Wow, what a great way to start off your half of the inning late in this ball game. He is pumped up out there at second base, trying to get his teammates into it. Well, now here comes the Mets manager, Terry Collins, on his way to the mound. And it looks like that'll end the afternoon for Bartolo Colon. So as he departs, he can't lose this ball game, but he is responsible for the runner at second, meaning it'd be a no decision if that run comes across to score. Jerry Scamilla is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Brandon Belt will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, and it's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this will be the time that they finally crack the scoreboard. Chop foul at the plate, strike one. Trying to hold the lead. Now a swing and a fly ball. Conforto giving chase. And he set down one away. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. So striding in, Hunter Pence, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Pitch is way outside, and he can't even get a glove on it. And he is in there at third as the possible tying run. Uh, he gives him a free 90 feet there with one away. Now, all of a sudden, you open up a wealth of chances of making a productive out and still getting that guy home.
That one's going to find the sheets. Strike one. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Still one and two as he fouls it away. One out and a runner on third. He got him. And it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. Third baseman, number five. He knows his job is to hang on to the lead for his team. But with a guy in scoring position, he's got to do something to come up big. Not a whole lot bigger situation to come up with a strikeout than right there. He's fired up about it, but he's still got some work to do right now. He's not out of this thing yet. Matt Duffy will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances. But he could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. Ready with the 0-1. And this is swung on and missed for strike two. And now the Giants are down to their final strike. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. One strike from the shutout. Here it comes. And he struck him out. And the ball game is over as they get the possible tying run over to third, but can't get him across. Wow, just a really great game to watch from beginning to end. A well-pitched, one-nothing ball game. This is just a broadcaster's dream. for one final check of the line score as you see the key players there in this shutout victory. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he wound up turning things over to his bullpen in the ninth, but still, eight strong innings for him. And he was hitting his spots all game long. So that'll just about do it. For Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The Mets come out on top, one to nothing. So long from San Francisco.